Fiona Simpson, and that's F-I-O-N-A. Simpson's trickier, S-I-M-S-O-N, <laughs> no sneaky P. Um, and uh, I'm the president of the National Farmers Federation. So it's been great to be here at the conference today, supporting our members' Ag Force, uh, and talking about the value of agricultural education to students, whether they're in Queensland or whether they're right across Australia. We know that people understanding where their food and fibre come from comes from is not only important for the future careers of, of, of people in agriculture across Australia, but also for people making wise nutritional choices, uh, which helps you know make sure that we have a healthy, vibrant community. Uh, this is an issue and, and this is a task for not just industry, but a task that industry has to step up with alongside other stakeholders such as education and, and government. So it's been disappointing here today to learn that the Queensland Government uh, are not supporting this program going forward and don't have an idea about how they're actually going to deliver this really critical education in the future. And that they're not talking to their stakeholders such as AgForce about this before they make these decisions decisions. I think this sort of education is something that many people just take for granted in Australia, that people are going to understand uh, what a lucky country we live in in terms of fresh, safe food and fibre. But we know that people are increasingly disconnected. The National Farmers Federation in its surveys has found alarming levels of people, talking over 80% of people that are completely disconnected with where their food and fibre comes from. And a large number of them don't even care. Uh, and that's really concerning and it shows that there is a big gap in the education system uh, and that's a gap that we need to fill and it's a, need to, it's a, a, a gap that was being filled by programs such as SIP. Yeah. Look, today uh, certainly this is a partnership between educators and industry. Uh, it's a partnership where educators learn what are the latest things happening in industry and make sure that their knowledge is up to date. And, uh, often in Australia we talk about agriculture as very iconic and we have visions of farmers in weather-beaten Coobras, uh, whereas now agriculture is dynamic. Uh, we are making uh, exciting decisions about using the latest digital technology on our farms and we need to make sure that the young people of today have skills to equip them to, to actually fulfil those future careers. As well as that, we need the basic knowledge about food and fibre. So I hope that the Queensland Government, like many governments around the nation, are actually recognising the value of food and fibre and including that in their curriculum and take steps to make sure that we can continue to deliver these really important programs. New South Wales this year has, for the first time, uh, initiated steps to include agriculture as part of its curriculum in years seven and eight, uh, and is following the results of the review that was conducted in 2013. Western Australia has vibrant residential agricultural colleges. Uh, we need to make sure that we look at this issue and tackle it, uh, even though it's state by state, on a national basis.